Hi, I wanted to show you how to uh, create promo codes on IQ Webbook so your guests can use a promo code that they found from an ad um, while reserving online. The number one thing, I'm, I'm logged in here to our Charlotte Boyan and Suites uh, system, and number one thing is I want to check and make sure that the rate is going out to IQ Webbook. So in setup, rate management, set up rate codes. I am going to go to the rate code PROM is our promotional code rate that we use in most of our uh, advertising. So this is the rate code that we use PROM. All I have is a drive from rack rate. We do a 12% off but you can do any type of rate code that you'd like with a certain percentage off and make that kind of your standard discount. Um, I do it this way to make it easier for a front desk to know that anytime a guest mentions a promo code, they know the rate code is prom, so they don't have to look up what does that go to, what is this. It also allows you as the manager to associate the prom when they go to type it into webbook associated with certain market sources and market segments. So I'm um, in their prom rate. GDS channel, that's where I want to make sure this is going out to IQ Webbook. So right here it already shows us IQ Webbook, but if you show nothing in here, all you have to do is say add new channel and you select IQ Webbook and say select. Very simple to have it on there. And then usually it updates um, uh, at, at, at night time. Um, overnight it updates the inventory and rates to IQ Webbook so it's uh, live. But sometimes you can or you can always push it through the um, uh, IQ World link and send inventory and rates to it. So once you have ensured that's all set up that way, the next thing is one thing I'm setting up is a promo code for our Chamber of Commerce ad. So I want to make sure that um, not only is the promo code valid, but also that uh, my market source and segment is valid. So my market source for a Chamber of Commerce is going to be my Chamber of Commerce. So I'm going to go back to Setup and Configuration. And I'm going to go to user fields and market source right here, my user field one, valid values. I want to make sure my chamber of commerce is here. So there it is. Now I know that that's all set. And it's important that I know this code right here is C-H-A-M. And I'm going to use that in webbook when I set up this promotional code. So I have this. I ensured that. As far as user field two for webbook reservations, I always like to use web booking engine. So it's W-B-E. You never know why they're coming up to the area. And that's what uh, market segment is, is why are they coming up to the area? You don't know if they're visiting friends. You don't When they're booking online, you don't know why. So I just like to know, hey, it came through webbook. Um, so I'm going to close out of that, get out of here. Now I'm going to go into Webbook. I, I know that my rate code is active, and I know uh, what my uh, my market source is. So I'm going to go to Webbook. I've logged in here. When you log in, you're going to make sure that you are in your uh, your Webbook site. So right now it says Cherry Tree in right here, but I'm going to go to Chain Sites, and I want to go to Charlevoix in. In this, in, in this example. Now you can check to make sure your prom rate is active by going to inventory and rates. So if I go here, inventory and rates on the left here and go to rates, now I can scroll through here, promo code right there. I have it all set, it's in there, it's live, it's good. So now I go to promo codes, promotional codes on the left hand side. And you can actually see my old ones from years past. So I have COC 16, COC 15, COC 14. So I have those. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to say add promo code. And under the promo code, this promo code is going to be COC 18. And description is going to be chamber, actually, Charlevoix, CO, ah, uh, we'll make it nice. Because the description is going to be what the guest sees, too, when they go to see the description of the promo code. So chamber of commerce uh, special rate. Okay, and um, I like to make it always available, but you can put in higher and lower dates. I just like to always have it available in case they find this silly old ad and they can uh, log in there and get a discount and still book with us. So it's just my preference, but it's totally up to you. Rate code. My rate code is prom, um, as I said earlier. If you are typing this and your rate code does not show up, it means your rate code is not active in the system. So you need to go back to Room Master and make sure it's active. You need to make sure through WorldLink it's been pushed to Webbook and that it's showing in rates, inventory and rates. If it's not in inventory and rates in Webbook, then you need to make sure the other part, the parts are set in Room Master or IQ WorldLink. Um, booking source is, what did I say, C-H-A-M, I think it was. And market signal is W-B-E for web booking engine. Th those won't automatically populate. They don't uh, populate the, like the rate code. So don't be worried if they don't do that. 
Um, and then other than that, I leave uh, always use market business regard uh, business source regardless of rate. Um, I'm gonna leave that unchecked. Gonna skip the travel agent and leave these unchecked as well, and just say save. Now I always like to uh, check it. So um, here I, I I go in here and I go to visit my site, and I'm just gonna go rate options. Go in here. I'm gonna see COC 18 apply and now I've applied now I can go I can actually the ad won't come out until next year but I can literally check now because I made it available at any time um, just in December I'm going to do that say check availability and now if I go to a room view I show my standard daily rate is 79 but then my promotional special right there 69.52 is right there and if I go to rate options do the drop down and now shows promo code applied Charlevoix Chamber of Commerce special rate so nice little setup for you to do and set up um, it when it comes into your system it will use all the tracking we do so the market source will come in as uh, CO uh, Chamber of Commerce for me and the market segment will be web booking engine so I hope this is helpful for you setting up promo codes in a uh, web book and uh, making sure your ads are useful and trackable as much as possible if you have any questions just reach out thank you